Hello everyone, Hector Mendoza. Have you ever had the need to have a particular word highlighted in a document and specifically like in a large document? I'm going to show you how you can select it and change that selection to any color you want. So I'm going to open up this 481 page document. Uh, I created this document a, sh a few years ago and I use it a lot but every once in a while uh, I need a particular word highlighted because uh, that's the particular subject that I'm uh, interested for that week or that month or whatever so we're just gonna pick any word first of all if you wanted to find a word all you would have to do is hit control F you get this dialog box right here and we're going to type C-R-Y-W-A-L-L -L. and if you hit enter you're going to see that there this is the first word of 110 selections okay so if I hit enter again it'll go to the next one so this is the next one it found and what you see in uh, in you know the lighter uh, colors are the next ones that you're going to find. So you see. Okay. Now, if you close your search engine, now ne everything's not highlighted, right? So if you decided to change the tool, you're going to lose the selection that you have. Now I'm going to show you how you can color that. Depending on here, let me close all my tools here depending on what color you have selected for your highlight is what color is going to change for instance right now if I click on my highlight and you see that the yellow is selected so that's the color that is going to take uh, whatever selection you change it's going to change that uh, color so let me show you what I'm talking about so this time we're going to use shift control F that's going to give you advanced search it gives you more options on your search engine there's a way where you can find a particular word in the current document or all PDFs in a particular folder or you can select a whole hard drive if you want. What word or phrase would you like to search for? This is where you would type drywall. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, if you click here it's only going to se select that word drywall. Um, for instance, let's say therefore. If you search for there, T H E R E, that's all it would select. It would not find uh, therefore. It has to be there. If you deselect this, anything that has the word drywall is going to select it and uh, paint it. So we select, we type the word we want uh, to find, we do a search. Here you're going to see each one of the selections, okay, that it found. Okay, so um, you see like for instance this one here is on page 157. This one here is still on 157. So one page 157 has a lot of uh, word drywall. So if you click here, now we went to page 158 and so forth. This is what we're going to do. Using this scroll bar, we're going to select the first instance that it found. I'm going to hold my shift key. I'm going to get this scroll bar and I'm going to Go all the way to the bottom. While I have my select, uh, my shift selected, I'm going to select the last instance that it found. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter. What that's going to do is highlight every one of them that it found. So let's go to, let's hit page, uh, what was it, 157? Oh, here, there were some of them there. Let me see. Uh, it it's hard to find it. I mean, I could go. I guess I could just type. Uh, I think we found uh, 157. So you see, we went to that page. So all of those are highlighted. Now let's go back to um, home page. We really don't have to go to home page. You, we could do it from here, but we're just going to go back to the home. Okay. Now everything is selected. I'm going to click on this highlighter. So I'm going to click and I'm going to hit highlight. What that did was color everything that was selected. It highlighted it in that color. So let's go to page 157. Okay, you see, there's all the highlights. And I saw it in 158. And I think way at the bottom of uh, the end of the document, there was some that were highlighted. Let me see. Let me uh, well, there I know there will be some. Let me see. Oh. Another way to find it is to hit Control F and just hit Drywall, and then it'll go to the first one. And then we just keep on hitting Drywall. Hit Enter, so it goes to the next one, and so forth. Okay. Now, so now you have this document that has all uh, all that work highlighted, <clears throat> and So we're going to go to that page that has drywall. Now, let's say you want to delete some of this stuff. If you go to one of the pages and you click on any one of those uh, highlights, it's going to select everything inside that page. Okay, so if you select it, you can delete it by hitting this delete button, or you just you can just hit that delete button and it deletes it. So let's go to the next one, and you'll notice it deleted all of those. Now here's the next ones. <clears throat> Same thing. If I click here, I can delete all of those, right? There's another way that you can delete faster. You see right here on the right hand side, and on yours it might be on the top, might be on the right, left, bottom. Depends on how you have this tool uh, customized. If I click here, it gives me everywhere that highlight shows up. Like this is that page, page 58, page 59, page 60, and so forth. So those are the pages, and it uh, it highlights all of those pages if you select it. So I'm going to go to page 58. I can hit, while I'm here, if I click here, I can left click here and delete, right? Another way to do this, you can click here and just delete okay and that's deleting every it's not deleting the work it's just deleting the highlight that you uh created now let's say that i wanted to delete three pages at a time if i click on the first one and go all the way to that one now i have this one this one and this one selected i can hit the delete button or uh i can just select them all I'm going to select the first one, go all the way to the end, select the last one, and hit delete. 
we miss one, no problem. Click on it, delete it. Now, if you go to throttle all, nothing is covered. So, now, let's say that you wanted a different color. To do that, we're going to do the same steps. We're going to click here to change the color. So, we're going to select a purple. Or let's say you wanted to redact uh, this document, and this was a legal document. Now, you wouldn't want to redact it this way, because redaction, you don't want nobody else to be able to change that color of that word. But I'm going to show you how you can hide it, but it's not really redact redacting. There is a way to redact in Adobe Acrobat DC but right now we're just gonna s simulate a redaction so I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna click black as my color now we're gonna uh, hit shift control F we're gonna search for the word drywall we're gonna click on the first one and we're gonna go you got to let this thing finish because it's still doing a search. Remember, this is a 481 page document. And while I'll select the first one, I'm going to hold my shift key. Scroll all the way to the very last one. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go to my highlighter. I'm going to highlight it. That change. Now, you see, if I click redact, you see right here, if I hit redact, it will delete that word, and nobody will be able to de uh, to find out what that color, I mean, what that word was. We're going to continue with highlighting. So, like I said, see, it wants to redact because redacting would be for a, a, a uh, legal document we can always go back and change that later so this in this particular way this is really not redacting because somebody can go back if they have the same program we have you can go in here uh, change the color to yellow you see and the word would appear so that is not redact redacting something redacting something you could have redacted by selecting redacting and then no matter what happens after that nobody's going to be able to determine what that color was now so now I'm just going to go back and select everything and delete it and I got my words back hey guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up also, if you want to know how to do this in Word and Excel, look for the same heading in my um, um, YouTube channel that says something like highlight all occurrence of a word in, a, uh, let's say, Word or Excel or whichever one that you want to learn. Then I'll have all three of them. As soon as I get off of this, I'll start doing some videos on the other ones. Thank you for watching my videos, and I hope you like this video. Thank you.